guys, welcome to Unisys Weekly Fundamental Analysis. As usual, we're looking to dollar first. So the dollar index rose by 0.31% on a weekly basis to 91.94. Now, Pover's tolerance for soaring US bond yields allowed the US dollar to follow its rise. Okay, the Federal maintained its dovish rhetoric, sending the dollar a fatal, fatal blow. So on Wednesday, the Federal Reserve reiterated its commitment to maintain the high tar the target interest rate at near zero in the next few years and expect that as the COVID-19 crisis eases. Economic growth and inflation in the US will jump rapidly this year. Besides, the Federal Reserve predicts that the US economy will grow by 6.5% this year and the um, um, unemployment rate will fall to 4.5% by the end of the year. It also predicts that the rate of price increases this year will exceed the Federal Reserve's 2% target, reaching 2.4% and then falling back to 2022. Powell said most of the FOMC committee members do not expect to raise interest rates during the current forecast period. He was referring to the time frame of 2021 to 2023. So Powell said it is too early to talk about slowing down the Federal's 120 billion monthly asset purchase. So next we'll look into the pound. The Bank of England stand still and the pound falls on a weekly basis. So the Bank of England said on the 18th that the outlook for the British economy under the COVID-19 epidemic is still facing uncertainty and the central bank has decided to maintain the benchmark interest rate at a historical low of 0.1%. The minutes of the meeting released by the Bank of England say that the Monday Policy Committee believes that the current monetary policy stance is appropriate. In addition to maintaining interest rates unchanged, the bond purchase plan of £895 billion will also remain unchanged. The Bank of England stated that it will not tighten monetary policy until good progress has been made in inflation. The central bank expects that the CPI will quickly rise to the target level of around 2% this spring. If the inflation outlook diminishes, monetary policy committee is ready to take action all right coming up next is about the yen the safe haven yen so the bank of japan maintains super wide monetary policy okay so the bank of japan announced on the 19th that it will maintain the current easing of monetary policy at the same time make a series of adjustments of to its monetary policy so it also said that in a statement that day that it will continue to maintain short-term interest rates at minus 0.1 percent and purchase long-term government bonds to maintain long-term interest rates at around zero at the operational level the range of changes in long-term interest rates has been expanded from a previous plus or minus 0.2 percent to plus or minus 0.25% to increase the flexibility of interest rates and expand the room for financial institutions to benefit. And lastly, let's look at the goal. Spot gold rose by 1.07% this week to $1,745.23 per ounce, a two-day weekly gain. The Federal Reserve maintained interest rates and Powell said that it will not raise the interest rate before the end of 2023 and once again expressed the tolerance for the rise in US bond yields. US Treasury yields soared above 1.7% this week, causing a sharp drop in the price of gold and leaving headaches for the world. After the Biden government launched a stimulus of $1.9 trillion, it began to embark on an infrastructure plan, which may be more than two trillion dollar, the huge amount of currency may push up gold in the future. And coming up next is the forex calendar for next week. So for France, 
will be uh, trading during the news, please st set your stop loss as whenever there is news, the there will be uh, the the volatility is high. So that's all for today, and thanks for watching.